Hey guys, what's going on? So, say you got an iRobot Roomba, and it's not charging. Say you got it as a gift, it's not charging. It's used, you bought it at a thrift store, bought it at Walmart, whatever it may be. We're going to go over a few troubleshooting methods to get these charging. That way you know what you're dealing with. So the first thing is what charger do you have? Do you have the one with the power brick? That plugs in on the side here. Looks the same as this one that doesn't have the power brick and it just plugs in the side. Both iRobot, both factory. The thing is, what model did it go with? So here I have 675. It plugs, it, it docks straight to this one. Oops, I don't have a robot in the way. It will not dock to that one. Now this is a 690. This one will dock to that one. Now, if I line it up, they'll go a little crazy. Um, but it just depends uh, what year, what model, um, 5 series, 6 series, 7 series, you have to have the right charger. Um, now you can go online and Google which charger is for which model. There's so many models and so many different chargers, it's hard to keep up, but they all look identical. Now, if you have a port on the side of yours, which neither of these have, um, you're definitely going to have to have this model because it's able to be plugged in or docking charged. And the way I found this out is... One of my robots wouldn't charge on this charger. Um, it was the 675, so I had to get the older style charger. Kind of crazy, but hey, whatever works, right? I mean, 690. 690 wouldn't charge on that one, but it charged on that one. The 675 will charge on that one or that one. But regardless, um, bin styles are different, which is crazy because I believe this is a newer robot than this one. So I don't... I don't know exactly what year they all changed, but make sure you have the right charger. Next, is your robot completely dead? If it is, you need to manually align it just like that. So all I did was line this top to there. Hold on, Let's see if I can, let me kill it. I'm just gonna line those two up until the green light on here comes on and this will start charging now you might not get any display on this for a few minutes up to 15 minutes depending on how dead your battery is now the next thing do you even have it on now most people are thinking that if it looks like this it's on it, it, it should be on all the time but that's not true sometimes you actually have to wake it up there's a sleep mode in these and also, it could have been manually cut off just like that or put in the sleep mode. So that's another thing to look for. Next, is my battery bad and how can I tell? Well, the only real way to tell is to take it out and read the voltage. But there is another thing you can do by taking it out. You can actually look for what's called expanded cells. I'll show you how to do that. All you need is a Phillips head. And you're going to remove four screws. Um, five, actually. If you really want to get down to it, you can take this side spinner off. And it just makes it easier to take it off. All right, so we got those four out, and this cover pops off. And you're going to find all kinds of nice hair and debris in there. But what we can do is pop this battery out and see if it's swollen or if it's hot, if it's actually not charging. And we can just replace this. It's super, super cheap, super easy to buy. Um, we can also inspect the two springs. These springs are like what you would find on an old nine volt battery that you put in one of them huge bulky flashlights. Um, there's two pins here, two pins here. Um, correlates with these positive negatives. And you just drop the new one in. Close it up, 
and it's good to go. Could be a bad battery. It, these things surprisingly go through batteries pretty regular because of all the charge cycles. They're only good for about 2,000 to, to 3,000 charges. And if you think, a lot of people run these almost daily. They're always on the charger. So you never know actually how many times it decycles and how many power outages you have and whatnot. But in, in my history of working on these, I'd say if you've had your robot three years, just go ahead and buy a new battery. Buy a new set of brushes and buy a new battery. You're going to be out about $100 or less. Actually, new battery, an aftermarket battery, aftermarket set of brushes, you're probably looking about 50 bucks. But if you buy, and chargers aftermarket are way cheaper than actual iRobot chargers. iRobot chargers are like $80. You can get an aftermarket charger for about 20, 25 bucks. So those are the little things that you can look for. You can also examine the pads. Sometimes they build uh, like a film up over time, depending on what they're mopping and going through. So 91% isopropyl alcohol, remove the battery, clean up the pads here and clean up the pads there. Next, um, spring loss. So these are spring loaded pads. Make sure they're clean, if they're clean, make sure the eye is nice and clean so the robot can find it. 91% isopropyl alcohol. Um, you have a, a sensor here and a sensor here. These pads have a spring in them. If they lose that spring or that spring breaks, one of them is gonna fall down and it's never gonna make a connection. If it never makes a connection, it can never charge, even if it's in the right spot. So your robot's gonna be searching, 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 and boom, it's done. It's gonna die, not on the charger, and you're gonna be upset. So with that being said, guys, I hope this helps y'all out at finding the issue of why your robot isn't charging. Um, whether it's a power button, whether it's dead and you just need to put it in. Make sure if you have this style, you have a green light all the time. Sometimes you'll have a flashing light on your charger. And if you put your robot to it and the green light comes on, but your robot never charges, it might be your battery. So thanks for watching again, guys. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. I'm a big shark robot um, repairer. When it comes to the iRobots, they're still second nature to me, but they're not as fluent like model number wise uh, with me. So I do apologize in advance. I don't have all the specifics for the model number and chargers. So thanks for watching.